Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can send email reminders with Python. For this we first need to create an Excel sheet. It doesn't necessarily have to be Excel, you can also use LibreOffice or OpenOffice and then save it as an .xlsx file. We create five columns. In the first column we list the names of the members. Then each member has an email and the other columns show which month have been paid by which member already. In our script we only check the last column. So for example Alice didn't pay in this month yet and also Carol didn't pay. So our program will check this column and then send email reminders to Alice and Carol. Let's now look at the code inside of PyCharm. In line 1 we are importing the modules we need. OpenPixel is used for the communication with the Excel sheet and SMTPLab will be used for sending emails. You can install these modules by going inside of your folder and typing pip install OpenPixel and SMTPLab. In line 5 you are loading the workbook. Inside of the brackets you need to put in the path to your XLSX file. In line 6 we load the sheet with a sheet number. The sheet number you find at the bottom left of your sheet here. In the next line we are selecting the last column, which in our case is this column. In the next step we are selecting the name of this month by writing sheet.cell and then in brackets row 1. Row 1 is this row and then the value of the last column, so actually we select this cell. In line 11 we are creating an empty dictionary in which we will save the name as a key and the email as a value. Next we create a for loop to loop through all the rows of the sheet. In line 13 we are fetching line 2 and the last column to see if this member has paid or not. If the member didn't pay we are fetching the name of this member and the email. And in the last step of this section, we save the name and email as key and value pairs inside of the unpaid members dictionary. The next step we have to do is to log in to our email account. In my case, I'm using Gmail and when you create this new SMTP object, you fill in smtp.gmail.com and the port, which is 587. If you are using Outlook or Yahoo, you need to write in these names. To start a connection to the Gmail server, we are calling the ELO method. In line 24, we start TLS to encrypt our data. Don't forget this, because otherwise everyone can fetch your password in plain text. In line 25, we log into our email account. You need to write your email in here. And concerning the password, I will now insert a section of a different video of mine. And obviously your password should not be put in in plain text here, because otherwise if someone get access to your code, then he would also have the password. So make sure you inject the password into your Python code somehow in a safe way so nobody has access to it. Now I'm going to show you how you can get an app password, which we need when we want to send emails with Google Mail. The first step we need to do is to go to the tutorial, which is on a website of Google, which I will also link in the description box. Then scroll down to create and use app passwords. And make sure you already have two-step verification enabled. Then go to your Google account. And next click on security. Scroll down and click on App Passwords. Enter your password and then click on Choose App, which will be down here, and then on Others. And now the name you will need is the name of the project of your Python project. So in my case, it's simply email. And then click on Generate. And now it will show you an app password, which you can copy. And then click on Done. And paste it in here. 
In section 3 we are sending the reminder emails. For this we are looping through the items of the unpaid members dictionary. Then we are using string interpolation, which means that we are creating the body of the email here and we want to insert the name of the member and also the month which is due. This percentage s sign means that you fill in a string. So for this percentage s it will take this variable latest month, then for the second percentage s it will take the name variable value and for the last one again it will take the latest month value. And here we are just printing sending email to and then the email for our information. And to actually send the email you have to fill in the email of the sender here, then we are putting in the email of the member and the body of the email. If the send mail status variable returns an empty dictionary, that means that there was a problem with sending the email, so we are printing this out here and also we add some additional info. And finally you need to call the quit method to quit the connection to the Gmail server. And when you now run the code, you should find two emails in your send box and they should contain the body looking like this. Also in your console it should print sending email to alice and carol at example.com. I will put all this code on my github profile. You will find the link in the description box. Also this code is taken from a book which you can find online for free. I will show you the website. The book is called Automate the Boring Stuff with Python and you find it online here. And if you want to read about the code I showed you, you can find it by typing command F or control F and then type reminder and then it will jump to the project we have been discussing. And also it has pictures and the code. And now you know how you can link Python and Excel and how you can send emails with Python. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!